Hi, thanks for joining me for this quick review of the process that we're going to use to address some of the important issues that are arising in the project that we're working on. The approach we're going to use focuses on openness, broad-based involvement, genuine participation by those who are members of the group, the ability to comfortably and constructively disagree, the development of consensus on as many of the issues as we possibly can, an opportunity for everybody who's participating to have an equal voice, and importantly, a deep respect for your time, meaning there will be no meetings and very little administrative overhead in this process. As a frame of reference, here are some example issues that might come up in the course of a computerized physician order entry project. Just looking at these issues, you can imagine how challenging they would be to deal with through a series of meetings. The meetings could go on for quite some time, have lots of discussion, and still fail to come to complete closure. Also, it would be hard to involve everybody who would have an interest in these issues in a standard meeting format. Let's look at an alternative that we're going to use to try to address these concerns. There are many ways that issues can come forward in the course of a major project. The organizing group will track all of these issues and prioritize them for your review. A stakeholder group will preview the issues and contribute their knowledge of the process and the associated policies and frame up either options or a specific recommendation for your consideration. These will then be assembled in a template that will be one page and will have the same structure for each issue, making it easy for you to review numerous issues in an efficient manner. The templates will be sent to you by email one at a time and you will have 48 hours to review the issue and cast your vote. If several options are provided, you will select the option you favor most. If it's a recommendation, there will be four vote types that you will have available to you. The first is approve. The second is reject, which means you oppose the recommendation but can live with the decision if the majority supports it. The third is conference call, which means you need additional information before you can even cast a vote. These conference calls will be arranged very quickly to keep the process on track. And finally, red flag, which means even if everybody else votes for it, you can't support the recommendation, either because it creates a critical patient safety issue, violates an organizational value, or has some other very important fundamental problem. When the voting is complete and the results are tallied, there will either be substantial agreement with the recommendation or options, in which case the issue will be forwarded to steering committee for approval, or there will be substantial disagreement or someone may have thrown a red flag. In those cases, if the disagreement cannot be resolved by the working group, the issue will be forwarded to the steering committee for discussion and deliberation at that level. In the particular case where someone throws a red flag, that individual will present their concerns to the steering committee in person so that the group can benefit from their perspective. The steering committee, having closed on issues, will forward them to the appropriate groups for policy revisions, communication, and implementation. Here is an example of an issues template. Note that the template will have a header that describes what the issue is and its current status in the review process. Then there will be a section called issues in background that will give you the context for the recommendation or options that you are presented with. And there will be a section that includes the options or the recommendation and in the bottom left the source of the recommendations. Finally if additional information is required it will be noted in the response or comments area. Once you've reviewed the template, you are ready to cast your vote. This shows the kind of email you should expect to receive. Note that there is a subject line that includes the topic under consideration, and to the right of that in the subject line, a small piece of coded text that we use for routing. Please do not delete this in your reply. The template will be sent to you as an attachment in the email, and there may be some comments in the body of the email, although this should be uncommon. In this case, there's a description of the voting process. To vote, Simply hit reply, type your vote, either approve, reject, conference call, or red flag at the front of the subject line, and then hit send. After 48 hours, the votes will be tallied, and the results, along with any comments, will be sent back to you for your review and update. Finally, let's go over some ground rules that we'll operate under. You'll have two full business days to reply to each item. So if you get it on a Friday afternoon, you'll have until Tuesday evening to reply. There will be items that you don't have expertise on or don't feel qualified to reply to. There's no need to respond saying that. Simply don't vote. But remember that if you don't vote, the voting process will go forward without you. 
A red flag vote will always stop the process until the concerns are resolved or it's forwarded to the steering committee. And finally, feel free to make any comments in your replies. Unless you ask otherwise, all comments will be distributed to the entire group unedited and identified. That way we all know what everyone else is thinking. With that, we're ready to get started. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, look for some templates to be coming out shortly. Thanks for your participation in this process.